Hi everyone, I'm back with another Buff Meta Guide. This one is for the people that have this cool and sick looking Leona skin, but their pre-made doesn't want to give them the goddamn support role. Either that or you're the type of person that willingly eats fries without sauce. I don't know what that's a metaphor for, but I just find you people weird as hell. So everyone, I present to you, Jungle Leona. Leona Jungle is a fun, sometimes viable, early mid-game pick that kind of feels like a less troll version of River Shen, wherein you farm as little as possible and just try to gank 24-7. Considering her clear speed is terrible, you're probably gonna wanna be leeching as much experience as possible after every successful gank, and just gank, kill enemy, push in wave, and repeat in another lane. Just do that over and over again. Until you get that sweet victory screen and just say GG easy, get owned by Leona Jungle, oops. However, if your laners use their brains as much as the buried cat in my backyard and just keep hard pushing 24-7, then maybe consider pinging them to help invade jungle, sometimes that works. Other times you can set up a counter gank or ask them to come do objectives. Just farm as little as possible, that's the most important part. With this pick you just want to be as aggressive as possible early game. Because Leona falls off harder late game than the average attention spawn of my viewers. Still love you guys. That's why you want to spend every single goddamn second in the early game being as annoying as possible and use every dirty trick in the book. After killing them in top lane, tell them to freeze lane and just wait for the enemy to TP. Then kill him again. Go to Crux, wait in the top bush until the enemy comes and just kill him again. I want you to break their souls as hard as they can break their keyboards. If you pick this, there's two outcomes. Either they die of a stroke or you lose the game. And considering you are a League of Legends player and probably have zero regard for human life, option one kinda really seems like the only viable option here. So how do you build this goofy thing? You go after Shock. Or if you unironically watch furry porn, you can go Predator. However, do please stay the fuck away from my nice and Christian Discord server link in the description. In secondary, you go these two things, because you want to be surfing that river like it ain't nobody business. Rush mobilities, for the same reason. And for items, you can go either one of these three mythics. Frostfire provides a lot of extra utility and tankiness. And it's honestly my first mythic of choice. Camp tank is really good as an engage item, but you're actually going to be peeling more than you'd expect in this build. Or at least I find myself feeling more. If you like engaging, then just go camp tank. But you don't really need it to engage. And more often than not, you're gonna have a heal support, so you're gonna have less engage overall and less people to follow you up. And you're just gonna go in like an idiot and die. And last, we have some fire, which can be great for extra damage, but I have had very little success with it. I feel like I'm never proccing the, the, the emulate passive, but that's just me. If you can play with it, I think it might be better, but I'm just a big dummy dumb. For second items, I like Sterix, but I think something like a Deadman's Blade against AD or a Bissell Mask against AP is probably more viable. Uh, and after that, you can honestly just spin the real of tank items. <laughs> and that's all you just need to know, it's that easy, it's, you're playing a tank, for fuck's sake. Just don't clear, gank as much as possible and make the enemies cry. That was it, I hope you best of lucks, because you're gonna fucking need it. <laughs> I'm Chris from League's Last Hope, and I hope you stay around. Bye bye!